Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Ram 1500. Having a hitch on a truck seems like it goes hand in hand. It allows you to be able to tow trailers or actually just load up accessories whenever you need to. And the great part about newer trucks is a lot of them will come with a bumper reinforcement bar that allows you to bolt up a receiver hitch. And that's what this is here. It's not a full hitch. It just simply bolts up to the factory mounts. And this is a great way to have a hitch installed within just a few minutes. Now this is going to be a great addition and being a class three, it actually has decent uh, weight capacities. Your gross trailer weight rating is going to be 6,000 pounds, which is going to be the weight of the trailer plus the accessories loaded up on it. You also have a tongue weight rating of 600 pounds and that's the downward pressure on the receiver tube opening. So a lot of your suspended accessories like your bike racks or cargo carriers pushing that weight on, you have up to 600 pounds, so a decent amount. Now, if that weight rating is too low for your application, you're planning on doing some heavier towing, then this might not be for you. We have other options available for the Ram that will work great and really bump up those numbers. Now, those are gonna be a little bit more of an install, uh, but we have those options here at eTrailer and you're gonna be having nearly three times the amount of towing capacity. Now, if you are looking for a higher towing capacity, some of the ones you might wanna look at would be the Draw Tight or Kurt class four and five, and that's really gonna bump it up to a much higher towing capacity, and it's gonna be a little bit more for your work trucks or towing heavier trailers. But this one, if you're not planning on towing a large trailer or a boat or camp or anything along those lines, this is gonna work great for everything else that you'll need. Now taking a closer look at the hitch receiver, you're gonna see it has a 5 8 hitch pin hole here. Now it does not come with a hitch pin and clip, but this is gonna be required to put your accessories in place. And a lot of times your accessories will actually come with these, but if you wanted to pick up a locking one, we have a bunch of ones available here at eTrailer. That way when you load your accessories up, you can lock it in place, and it's not gonna have your accessories walking away in the hands of someone else. Now out the gate, you're gonna see also that this is a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. So that's gonna be a pretty common size for a lot of different accessories. There's also a reinforced collar here for a little bit of heavier duty uh, protection as well. It has a nice carbide black powder coat finish. So it's gonna be looking really nice over the years. Even when it hits road grime and salt, it's gonna prevent that rust and cor corrosion from occurring. It also has a rolled style safety chain loop here, which is definitely large enough to be able to hook up your trailer with standard size hooks, or even a larger clevis style, there's no problem to be able to hook up to it. Now, a few quick measurements here. We're gonna measure from the center of the hitch pin hole to the furthest point of the rear bumper. And that's gonna put us right at about two inches. And that's kind of important for your fold up accessories like your cargo carriers or bike racks. Make sure it doesn't hit your bumper. But seeing that this one's almost flush, you shouldn't have any issues there. Now we do wanna measure our ground clearance as well. So from the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground, we're looking at about 19 and a half inches, and that's gonna be plenty to where your hitch will never really make contact with the ground. But when you load up your accessories, uh, like your suspended ones, say a bike rack or cargo carrier, a lot of times you need to be cautious when you're going up an incline or on some rough pavement, as it can be closer to the ground. So something to keep in mind when you have those loaded up. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's actually really easy. There's gonna be three bolts that we'll be putting in place. Now the top bolt does require a pretty high torque setting when with a torque wrench and you may need to be renting a torque wrench or finding someone that has a very large one in order to get this torque down. But other than that, the installation is extremely simple and we're going to take a look at that now to get your hitch installed. Now, if you're looking to add a receiver hitch to your vehicle, this is gonna be a great option because if you have the factory reinforcement bar, this is gonna be a quick, easy installation and you're gonna be able to use your hitch pretty quickly. It's not very difficult to do. In fact, it's just three bolts. So let's go ahead and we'll get started on this. So to get started, I'm actually gonna grab our receiver tube opening here and we're gonna take our large bolt and what I'm gonna do is actually start to hand thread it in and you'll notice pretty quickly that it is pretty tight. In fact, I can't hand tighten it anymore and the reason being is when this is powder coated, sometimes that powder coating will get in threads causing it to kind of be a little bit thicker than it needs to be. So to make it easier, once this is actually getting installed, I highly recommend taking a half inch hex bit here and putting this down. Now it's gonna bottom out. It only has this much to move. So just kind of running that through there should clean out those threads, making it a lot easier for us.
And you may have to repeat this process a few times, but we should be able to at least get it back and forth a few times in, and it's gonna make it so much easier when we put this in place on the truck. Now we're also gonna take our bracket here and do the same with our hardware. Again, just to kind of get some of this cleared out, you can actually see the powder coat in the threads. So this is gonna make it a lot easier. So this is gonna be a three quarter inch bolt. So just uh, with an impact or even putting this in a vise with the wrench, just run through the threads real quick. So now we can actually start putting the hitch on the truck. We'll go ahead by removing this cap and we're gonna see this hole is gonna be good size to drop our three quarter inch bolt in. So I have our truck here up on a lift and it's mostly just to help you guys see at home how we're doing this, but this is gonna be an install you'll be able to do in your driveway or in your garage. So let's uh, continue along here and get this installed. So take your bracket, you're gonna have weld nuts on one side, that needs to face up and we're just gonna slide it in here and now we can actually take our receiver tube here and this is going to slide under and we're gonna be hand tightening the bolts under into those weld nuts. Now grabbing your bolt and a conical tooth washer, we're gonna be using those to just hand tighten in. We don't have to get too crazy yet. Um, and the conical tooth washer, the teeth here, that needs to face towards the actual metal. So just feed this onto your bolt and uh, you can do that for both of them. And then, you're simply going to just take the receiver and then we're going to just slide it up here. I'm going to take my bolt and start to thread it in to that bracket. Go ahead and put the other one in place as well. So now for this portion, you're gonna to want to get a half inch hex bolt here. Now an Allen wrench is gonna get it somewhat tight, but we are gonna be torquing this down to a pretty high torque setting later on. So I suggest picking up one of these um, if you don't have one already. And also we're gonna be also needing a torque wrench that's gonna be pretty large. So if you're renting a torque wrench that can go up to those specs, you're gonna to wanna to pick one up that has the same uh, diameter here or size so that way you have it ready to go but for now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna tighten this down and this is where pre threading that in there and getting that uh, powder coat out really makes a big difference uh, you can actually kind of get some movement on it rather than fighting it so now you're gonna need that large torque wrench as I was talking about. The torque setting is rather high, so check the instruction manual and see what kind of torque wrench you need to get up to that torque setting. And generally you can rent them at an auto parts store. This isn't something that normally people have in their garage. Or you could possibly find a heavy duty equipment shop that will maybe let you borrow it for a little, but this is an important step. So now we'll go ahead and get this torque to spec. And this is important because it's gonna make sure that it's gonna be tight enough to not loosen up over time, but also uh, it's not gonna to be too tight to where it's gonna to put too much stress on the threads. There we are. So at this point, you can actually take your cap, put that back on. And now I'm gonna to go to the bolts underneath here with my three quarter inch socket, get these tightened down. And now we'll come back with our torque wrench and get these torque to spec as well. Now these torque settings are gonna be quite a bit less than the previous top bolt. So just make sure you check the instructions to uh, get the proper torque setting for these. So now all that's left to do is load up your ball mount or any of your accessories in your hitch and start using it. And that was a look and installation of the e-trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Ram 1500.